Hey guys, it's Bruce with Mr. Silencer again. Trying to get this uh, YouTube thing going, get my face out there. There's a lot of cool stuff that happens that I try and take advantage of, and one of them is the short barrel shotgun. Um, here we have two of the hot choices in the semi auto market. I've got a Saiga 12 and a Vepper 12. And the difference is, well, there's a difference. The Vepper is kind of cool because it comes with a little bit of a magwell. It takes a different magazine than the Sega. Um, these are limited to a 12 inch barrel option for reliability. Whereas the Salvo, ha, Salvo, fits on the Sega and these things run very reliably at 10 inches. Not so much at 8 as some other people would have you believe. We've had a lot of issues with them, but at 10 inches they work great. The issue is, it's about 1200 bucks to convert a Sega from its virgin format um, into a short barrel gun. The fire control group gets moved forward where it's supposed to be under the receiver. The Magpul Zukov stock system, we set up so you can have a foldy on there. The barrel gets shortened, cut, crowned, and threaded. The gas tube gets reported, cut, trimmed, refinished. They weld up some holes on the receiver. And then refinish this guy. A little bit of a blueprint action inside the uh, inside here to take off any of the the Russian shiggies, the sharp edges and stuff like that. So they run really, really well. This particular one has the Salvo 12 mount on it. We put a couple three thousand rounds through uh, Salvo 12. Many of those on a Sega 12. And you can get this refinished in any color that you want to. Basically, if you want to convert a Sega, you add about 1200 bucks to the gun, and we go from there. That's going to include your choice of Cerakote. That's going to include the NFA engraving on it. Uh, everything needed to make this thing rock and roll. The Vepper um, is a little bit simpler because most of the stuff is already here. Um, your trigger group's already moved forward, you don't have that expense, and uh, you just have to change the gas system a little bit and uh, make sure that all the ports are unplugged because many of them are. And then the most important part of this guy is the rear um, adapter plate because when we fold this thing up, we want it to fold in such a way that it's alongside the receiver. If you don't have this angled one, it comes over this way and sticks up high. So this pretty much makes it perfect where you can still run it in this mode if you want to. Um, and then when you deploy it, it's obviously nice and set up and ready to go. So, same thing. This one runs you about 800 bucks, including the ACE folding stock, the folding adapter on the back of it, and all the modifications um, to the barrel.